Uh, we had a good weekend. We went four for four in our picks. We, we took Indy. We took the Cowboys. Uh, we took the Chargers. And I picked the Eagles to upset um, the Bears. Now, the game I liked the most was Dallas, and it was closer than I thought. But the first thing I do when games are over, I go online or I get a, a box score, and it tells me this. If you just look at the box score, Dallas had over twice as many first downs as Seattle, 20 more plays, 100 more yards, over double the rushing yards, almost two yards more per run, and completely dominated time of possession. You know what the box score tells you? Because if you watch the game, the game told you Russell Wilson is better than Dak. But the box score tells you Dallas is way better than Seattle. This was a personnel mismatch, and I'm surprised it was this close. Seattle did not have a first down, a first down until their fourth possession. I said going into the game, Seattle's a great story. They're not a great football team. Dallas, we think of them as dysfunctional. Jerry Jones can't win playoff games. They're a highly functioning organization. This is an excellent roster, but because of the limitations at quarterback, they have to win a certain way, and the game went the way it needs to go. Zeke had a big day. They were at home. Defense did their part, and then Dak does what he does often, made one big play late. I did like Dak's run late. Of course, he wouldn't have had to have been a hero if he'd not thrown that awful pass on the previous drive. But if you look at the top 10 players on the Seahawks and the Cowboys roster, Russell Wilson and Bobby Wagner make it for Seattle. The other eight best players, Zeke, Leighton Vanderesh, Amari Cooper, Zach Martin, Tyron Smith, Jalen Smith, Demarcus Lawrence, Byron Jones, they're all Cowboys. Seattle has two great players. They are not a great team. Dallas is loaded with a limited quarterback. And I think increasingly, uh, this was actually a very classic Dak Prescott game. He was mostly uninspiring. His stats were meh. He's consistently infuriating and inaccurate. But Zeke, big day, defense delivered, and he makes a play late. We've said from day one about Dak, it ain't pretty. But he has a certain personal resonance and calm in crisis. He tends to be better with the game on the line than he is in the first three quarters with just first downs on the line. But I do think this weekend is interesting because I think Dak, Trubisky, and Lamar are different versions of the same quarterback. The difference is Lamar and Trubisky have a ways to go until they get paid. Dak is about to get paid. And hopefully, once again, Dak Prescott has the self-awareness to understand there is a recipe for Dak to win. And those things all have to work. And they all did this weekend. Home, running, defense, make a big play late. Because it's, it's decision time on Dak real soon. And he'll win a lot of games. And Dallas is not dysfunctional. They're going to win a lot of games. They may win their division again next year. But going forward, does Dak want wins or lettuce? Because if he wants wins, this was classic Dak. It all had to work at home to not just beat Seattle, but understanding that Seattle, personnel-wise, right now today, isn't even close to Dallas. They're not. Look up. Ten best players between these two teams. Wagner, Russell Wilson are in it. It is all Cowboys after that.